Congratulations. Whoa, what a hard-hitting film. And as a mom, this was a tough one to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, both being dads, tough one to make? Not, not exceptionally tough. I mean, I understand that, it's, that, it, that the material is difficult, yeah. But uh, it's also, I thought it was good intelligent material as well. Mm. Not for me, no. Um, you know, because I wasn't playing Mel's part. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about the emotions of I wanted the loser's daughter, you know. <laughs> and so, uh, in that way, not at all. It was, you know, parts are difficult to play when you haven't got a good script in front of you, or you haven't got a good director in front of you, or, you know, good actors around you. It's, it's a pleasure to go to work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, you know, when you're in the hands of Martin Campbell, who gave yeah, us sure. the series, I mean, you sure. know you're in good hands. Yeah. What was it about? Well, you know, sometimes that can be more difficult. I remember mm. making a film called Scrum years ago, and we made that twice, and the one thing the director said to me was, don't try and do it better than you've done it before, because you can fall into a trap that way, you know? And I guess that would have made it more difficult for Martin. Because, you, you know, you can get, you know what you've done before, and you, you try and create something else. You might try and create something else to do with the story. Mm. So that can be difficult for a director. Oh, you? are you kidding? Yeah. 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 But at least he knows what, you know, he knows the geography, he knows, knows the, the story, terrain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, seven years, my God, that flies by like that, Mel, don't you think? Like a heartbeat. <laughs> Was it easy to get back into the saddle again? It's good to see you back oh, on the screen. Oh, yeah. No, 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 but I've, uh, in a sense, you know, I've been involved in the industry all the time, either directing something or writing something or producing something. So it's, um, it's not like I've been out of, out of whack. I just felt a bit stale as an actor. I wanted to get away for a while. And, uh, you know, if, you'll have, if you have nothing new to offer or bring, or if you're not getting excited by it anymore, well, then why do it? And I just felt like I'm getting back in the saddle, and this was just the thing that happened to be there. This was the next best good piece of writing, a good story. Could have been something else, but it was this. And I said, okay, I want to do this. Let's do it. And was it fun watching him being so vulnerable <coughs> for a change? Vulnerable. Well, yeah. he's, he, he's been vulnerable <laughs> in other films as well. I've seen him, you know, <laughs> on a rack. Really? His, you know, and all that kind of... I mean, it's intestines know, seen, But yeah. it, was, it was quite fascinating to work opposite <coughs> someone who, who really knows the film industry as much, you know, and I've worked with people like that before. But just to watch there and watch the way he works, and that's a learning curve for me because you know we don't learn that in my country. You know we don't learn about film; we learn theatre. Mm. Mm. No, you know, it's a bit right, different right. today. We have got some young, <laughs> we've got some young kids at home coming through. Are fantastic, they have. But yeah. my generation never. You know, so you sit there and you learn and you you watch the way these people work. It's fantastic. Well, he it's was a joy. He was yeah. in film before I got my before I yeah, dipped my wig. I didn't know. I, we had no one teaching this film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Australia either, but, yeah. but yeah, I think I think it's better that way in a sense, in a way, because yeah. you don't have to adhere to a bunch of rules. rules. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you guys yeah. turned it out pretty well, don't you? I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. You did all right. <laughs> I think you did too. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, what really challenged you? I mean, to, to watch you just be stoic, I think, and and just kind of in this trance, like that was, was that tough? That kind of stuff to do. Well, yeah, no, yes, well, you know, I, it's very difficult for me to sit still, but um, I think that, I thought that that was a very necessary part of who this guy was, uh, very staid, uh, still, and actually, he may not have been that person had these circumstances not evolved in his life, but um, I think he's suffering a breakdown, so he's just trying to, like, hold it together. Mm -hmm. If he does anything too much, he might lose it, you know. So. Yeah, well, who wouldn't in that situation? Yeah. I mean, and also, you're playing a cop, so you've got to kind of, on the one hand, be that guy, and mm -hmm. it, but the father instinct has to kick in stronger than the cop instinct, I would think. Sure. He's a guy that does things by the book, man. And, and, and in fact, the father thing does kick in stronger because it forces him to go outside the realm he usually occupies. Mm 